Agora TV. The world is thinking. Which brings us to um, what is most likely the oldest living thing on the planet. Um, this is an image that I made in um, a lab, the Niels Bohr Institute in uh, Copenhagen. Um, of the Siberian actinobacteria, which is between 400,000 and 600,000 years old, so half a million years old. Um, and this was discovered by a team of planetary biologists who went to Siberia and um, took a core sample into the permafrost just to see what they could find. So they were looking for clues to life on other planets. And they ended up discovering this bacteria, which, you know, you hear about um, old bacteria and ice cores in Antarctica all, all the time. But what sets this apart is that it's actually doing DNA repair below freezing. So what that means is that it's been living and growing for half a million years. Um, so again, they didn't know what they were looking for, but they ended up making a very important discovery. Um, and this was only a few years ago again. Um, and I was fortunate enough, I think I was actually one of the first people that got to attempt to make a photograph of this bacteria, um, because I ended up um, quite by accident meeting one of the biologists. Uh, this was a team from um, MIT working with, with Niels Bohr. Um, I happened to be at a New Year's Eve party in Brooklyn and somebody said, you have to go talk to this biologist. And sure enough, she was on the team that helped discover the bacteria. So again, it's just been a kind of remarkable where the information is coming from. Um, so. Um, here we are, the oldest living thing in the planet, but it's also one of the most vulnerable um, because if the permafrost melts, it won't survive. 